Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again, and are returning Pavel. down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station. The theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. But I really doubt that's gonna happen. Or maybe you will be home in an hour. Sorry about that. Then it'll all go wrong. They're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? To gather the men first. What we got going on over here? Guys? On their way. Then we'll give the beasts some hell. Oh, supposed to be going over here. Hello, sir. Hello. You're cool. Yep. Come Thank on you. in. Yeah. Fancy. All right. It's my house. The loose standards say I'm two centimeters short. What happens when they find us here? Take it easy. No one's chasing you. Anyway, two centimeters isn't much. Not for you, maybe. You can join the army and be a citizen again. But your dependents get hanged! <laughs> I will join the army if you don't stop. <laughs> wow. Okay, they have issues. Still waiting. We're giving our chief help, but there's nothing he can do about it. So, maybe while they're talking, you could let us in? No, we can't. Sorry, that's forbidden, without a permit. How about just the kids? And leave the parent here? No, you better just wait there. But you did let the first group in. No. They're sitting on their train at the transfer track. Be grateful you're on the platform where you have some space. Understood. Listen, everyone. Our stay permits are still being negotiated, so they told us to wait here. What about the kids? They need rest. How long do we have to wait here? Yes, how long? I can't wait no more. I gotta pee! Silence! They told us to wait, so we wait. However long it takes. All right, refugee status. I'm supposed to, what do I do here? Uh, talk to you? No? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. How could this happen? We've been in the wreck all our lives, and now we're freaks. Uh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time it's us. Would be long before Fiora has the station to himself. But what do we do now? Live. Uh, yeah. And be glad we won't have our skulls measured every day. That oh, is good. I'm I'm fainting. Hard you don't look breathe. like you're fainting. Calm down. Take a breath. You gonna pass out? Everything is all right. Everything is fine. She's having a breakdown. We spent twenty years at the Reich, and now. We're freaks. Oh, I see. Can't catch my breath. My heart's pounding. Calm down. It's okay. I'll leave you guys alone. Check this out. Chased by some spiders. Lit them up in flames. Almost ate me alive. But we're here anyway. You like that, huh? Yeah, look at that smug face. You like that. Yeah. Okay. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And revolution is fitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? 
Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does then? Is it so hard to either accept us or send us on our way? The higher-ups decide. We sent the message. Now, you must wait. What kind of message? It's an independent station. You're in charge here. The right kind of message. To the red line. Do you understand what I mean? Hi. Ah, so that's who's in charge here. Hi. Yes, exactly. And it's in your best interest, too. Let's see. Look around, huh? Can I have your gun? The three of us would have run right, right into that pack of watchmen. Again, sorry Thanks for locked doors. Thanks for up, guys. Welcome to the theater. The theater. Ammo. Ammo. The theater. There we go. Doesn't like to go left or right. Oh, I see. All right. I hear pigs. Oh, there are pigs. <laughs> had a little too much. Yep. Nice boots, though. Let's look at this fat pig. All these flies. Mm. Tasty. Yeah. Okay. A little gnarly. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants for Christ's sake. All are welcome here, even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying before. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are plain fools. They say that art only interests the welfare. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art for thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is twenty years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Already dead. Ah, so there are still men, not just marionettes. Okay. I discuss it myself. Here we sit, drinks, party lights, and all around us radiation, death, decay, Dude. and endless war. Oh, 
Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, ah, we may as well end it all. Feast. The time of prayer. So, it was our guest in life. The last one, the scythe. Any minute now, so drink up! Cheers! Wow! That is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is it something new? No, as if mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your hands out of the pot, or you're getting smacked in the head. The Bolshoi Theater, the pride of Russia, the legend of the Metro. Tonight only, a unique program. Ballet, entertainment, opera. One of the Be one of the lucky few to witness an tonight's Shafur. extravaganza. He told me all about their standards, about the racial struggle to keep humans free from mutations. But really, they're just dumping the dependents. So did you repel that? Whatever you order. <laughs> I wish. I did send him flying once. And got summons three days later. He'd cover up the black eye I gave him. So he says he by the new standards, my husband was extravaganza. Then he goes. But his sentence is up to you. Give me what I want. Or he hangs. So, what could I do? Why oh. did you run then? Because it was over. When they released my husband, he asked why. The Oberscharfuhrer told him. My husband attacked the bastard, and the guard shot him dead. I am sorry. Aren't you worried they'll come after you? Oh, so you two talking? Sorry. Gotcha. Sorry. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? They were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. Yeah! No one suffered a scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open and brick. And you, you left him there to die! No, Katya, we tried to save him, but it was too late. No, that's Vitya! We buried him there, the Lucas. We put white stones on the grave. Well, it's... All right, let it be a demon. But there used to be birds, right? Birds? Are they mean like demons? Don't lose no. Your Give they were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They will wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Could it be a Nosalis? The nose is too big, though. Surge, did you dare tell you about beasts like that? No. And he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw a bear once. <gasps> Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in the park. Were pool. elephants scary? Could the Nosalis wow. be what's left of them? Children of the Metro, so huh? Well, they were large. But they All, they they All they know is the demons. All they know is the demons. All they know is the demons. Oh, look, it's Jackson. They could stomp you. That's just like a Nosalis. Dad says if a big Nosalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. She'll even stomp her own kids! Oh look, it's the book! Nice! Will he be here to sign? No? Alright, moving along. Market! I have bullets. So many kids When do we become mutant father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, baby. Then my life is over. So long to say what? Grenades! Affordable and serious firepower! What? You give up already? Perfect self-defense weapon! You can still make it to Stalkers instead of near AIDS. Look, 
I got money for three regular, days. Drinks are on me. Lord, incendiary Rose grenades, guaranteed to keep your enemy warm. These knives, best for taking care of sentries. These knives, best for taking care of sentries. Best thing to have when there's many of them and only one of you. A great thing this is, and it's shit too. This will surely make your enemy work up a sweat. Bites, it will surely come in handy. This will surely be a great help in your journey. Not a scratch or speck of rust. Guaranteed to hit. Find these anywhere else. These bullets are good, despite being handmade. Well, the cases ain't new, but these are well made. Yeah, best stopping power of them all. Simply the best. You really should buy some of these. I have a surplus. Good Sorry. luck. Come again. Fish. Leather. Best leather goods. Original designs. Low prices. Leather jackets and caps. Latest fashion. Latest fashion. <laughs> shrooms. Great shrooms. Can't find better stuff anywhere. It's in other stuff. Best prices around, I promise. I'm good. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibitive. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. Yeah, it's not You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I'll interest you all. Just don't cut. I guess I missed some notes. Okay. I'll, I'll try to be more careful. Everybody's just so empty. Just 
Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to you the revolution me. now. They will let us in through the theater. We're seen on the revenge at the platform, hiding from his wife. Come on, don't make us. I just can't hear the woman. Where'd you come from? You are an entirely hey, you! Son. Stop! Show me your tickets! Did you hear oh. that? <laughs> sure. Uh, come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind, the can can. Private booth? I take it this is culture. The Monster stage has never witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But, <laughs> I trust, they will handle the race bar of our expectations. You look and very happy. Us, and our somewhat incredible show out of your mind. Continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his kind of freaky. World, and prove once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. Oh my. as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. They went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! This is horrible. Um... Enough. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on. You patron of the art. What are you looking at? Oh, Pavel Idarevich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore. Hey, no. Stop. 
I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. You go yeah, to you, to you go go. The heart of my Jana, soul let me use your power. To say. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's so It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend and buy you something better? Our incredible show is cheap, that's why. Artyom! Artyom! Looks like you're a he bit woman hungry, it. huh? Well, the yes, the yes, the it's a hard the life without the soft one. What's going on here? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we're still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? You look suspicious. Ah, here you are. Two of our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So. Let's drink, Artyom! Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place. Oh, I'm wobbly. Yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Oh! <laughs> your glass! Oh, your wow. shoulder must be thirsty. So, <clears throat> yes, your uh. life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink! And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom! Two thirsty shoulders. <laughs> Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids at slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Death to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order, William. To thirsty shoulders. Come on, Artyom, come on. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. So, my friend, uh, uh, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private. Take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. Welcome back, comrade Major. It is private.